Welcome to the most realistic New York City vlog that you will ever watch or your money back. This is our tiny 380 square foot studio apartment. We currently pay $2,600 for it. I know, moment of silence. I saw this uh, other video with the same title and thumbnail, so I don't want to take full credit for that. So Chelsea, thank you for the title and thumbnail. I think it's important. It's important to show what life really looks like living in New York City. I feel like there's plenty of bloggers and YouTubers out there who are showing the most glamorous parts of life and we're probably included in that bunch of people but I thought it would be fun to show what just a super oh almost stripped. What a super ordinary and realistic day in our life. Well, not day in our life. I thought it would be fun to show you what a super realistic and ordinary week in our life looks like here in New York City. Okay, let's get the vlog, get the vlog started. Okay, so it is currently Tuesday. We just got back from all of our travels on Friday and we got a little bit of groceries to get us through the weekend, but our fridge is a uh, currently quite empty. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Hopefully Trader Joe's is not too over overpopulated on this very sunny Tuesday morning. I do like doing grocery shopping in the morning. It's typically less busy, but you never really know. It's always a gamble. One of the things that I miss the most about just like living in a normal place in the States <laughs> is an empty grocery store. There's nothing like that feeling of just walking into a store and you don't have to rub shoulders with anyone. You don't have to fight your way with a grocery cart. You're just kind of strolling, meandering, meandering through the grocery store picking up whatever the heck you want. But no, here it's like, when you got your grocery cart, I feel like you're literally having to like fight for your life in there. It depends how busy it is, but it's not a very pleasant experience. Where's our grocery bag? Well, I can't find our grocery bag, that's okay. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Right when I said that, look at what I found. But what I was going to say is, does anyone else, ooh, what was on there? Does anyone else have the issue of, but we almost like getting paper bags, or at least like one of them during our grocery trip. It's the bags that we use to throw away our recycle. But like, is that worse for the environment? Probably. <sighs> But then also like, where would we put our paper recycle? Would we put it in a plastic bag? See, now that seems worse to me. Maybe it's a lose-lose situation, let's go. Time for everybody's favorite part of grocery shopping, grocery haul. Let me clean this up. And just like that, awesome transition, I know. Okay, let me grab the groceries. Bag number one, bag number two. Let's do this in reverse order. Okay, all of this at Trader Joe's only cost $120. I always swear by Trader Joe's. I feel like it's always the best bang for your buck. Got some broccolini, Campari tomatoes. We love to make shakshuka in the morning. Mushrooms, two lemons, a lime, some beef sticks, protein bars, carrots, sesame oil, tikka masala curry sauce. This is really great for marinades. Chicken sausage, peanut butter, some eggs, tofu, falafel, mini mini potatoes. I don't actually know what you call these. Mini potatoes, little potatoes. Okay, wait, here we go. Nature's Bounty Organic. Nope, that's just the brand. It's a mini medley, they call it. Okay, well, now you know. That was bag number one. Bag number two, fish soap. One, two things of broccoli, some peeled and ready garlic. I hate peeling garlic. Okay, I just noticed this at the store. Maybe they've had this forever. Maybe it's new. Gluten-free chicken tenders. Lucy's gluten-free. I, I don't know if she'll like that or not. I'm confused by what it means containing up to 15% of a solution. What does that mean? Oh, like they put water in the meat? I don't know. Regardless, so excited. Are you? I think I am. Frozen spinach, hummus, fire roasted tomatoes, two cans of tuna, coconut milk, black beans, green beans. These are the fancy kinds. I, I don't even know how you say that. Horcloths? 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 Nope, that didn't sound right. Ground turkey, boneless chicken thighs, some green chilies, turmeric, and a red onion. Again, all this only cost $120. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. This will get us through Sunday. We eat almost every meal at home, so I'm gonna put this away. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. The next item on this most typical and ordinary week living here in New York City is getting a new driver's license. Yes, I do currently have my Oklahoma State driver's license. I haven't lived in Oklahoma since uh, I was a wee little tot. How old was I? doesn't really matter, I was in high school. I'm gonna attempt to just at least figure out what next steps I need to take to actually get my New York State ID or license. What, do you have to take a new driver's license test? I sure hope not. I don't wanna take a test. <laughs> 
Maybe if it was like a written exam, that'd be fine. But I do need a driver's license. I feel like that's pretty important. Okay, regardless, let's just figure out the facts here. Let's just Google uh, how to get my... Okay, I think I figured out everything I need to know. If you were curious, the process seems pretty intuitive, but it does have to happen in person. So I'm gonna need to figure out a time to actually go down to the DMV office. <laughs> I feel like the DMV office is such a joke. Ugh, I feel like you're just like asking for a headache. So I do need to get this done because my license does expire, I think in a month or two. This is pretty important. Actually very important, I would say. And it costs, it says 65 or $75. Fair enough. It does look like there is some sort of pre-screen that you can do. Hopefully this will speed up the process. I'm gonna do that right now. And okay, so fast forward, it's the next day. I learned that I need my physical copy of my social security card, which I do not have. It is in my home that I grew up in. So luckily the DMV has been postponed at least a month until I can get that. Kind of feels nice to not have to do that. But at the same time, my license does expire quite soon. So I'm also now realizing after editing some of this vlog that Lucy has not been in any of this vlog yet. I think we should all comment down below. We want more Lucy, which luckily tonight we are doing a bit of a date night. We do date nights about every, I'd say like on average once every three weeks. It would be very ideal to have like a date night every single week, but realistically it just doesn't happen. So Lucy planned tonight's date night. I think we're going to a place called Terra Lucy Evino. And here's the thing, we cannot afford to eat out in New York City every single day. So eating out is definitely quite the treat when we do, but there's this new app that we've been using. It's called InKind. Just by signing up for it, we got like $50 off. Yeah, we got $50 off our first meal out. I feel like I'm not selling this well. And I think Lucy's about to walk in the door. And here she is, folks. The woman in charge. Better late than never. Oh. I feel like this vlog has been boring without you. Yeah, why, have you, why haven't you included me? The camera is literally sitting around all day. You are so <laughs> welcome to pick it up whenever you want. I was telling them about the in-kind app, but I wasn't selling it very well. Okay, let me sell it for you. Okay. Hey you, yeah you. Would you like $50 off your meal, no strings attached? Download the in-kind app. Use our referral code. I actually don't know if we have a referral we code. We actually do. I just looked it up. Hmm, we do. We'll put it below. I'm so excited because we're gonna go to, we're gonna go on our date and then we're gonna go see a movie that. Oh. Um, <laughs> just a little espresso does that too, yeah? Um, <laughs> and then we're gonna go see a movie. I'm so excited. So I caved. I really like true crime podcasts. If you know true crime, you know that Wondery has like the best podcast and oh, there was this one I wanted to listen to but they get ya because you can listen to the first episode for free but then all the rest just forever you have to have the Wondery Plus subscription. I do feel like I've stooped to a new level because I do now pay $5.99 a month for a Wondery Plus subscription. Also this is just not blending well. I don't know anything about makeup. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. That's why I will never be one of those influencers. But yeah, that's actually what I'm listening to right now. I ended up finishing the one I wanted to listen to and now the world is my oyster. I have so many that I couldn't listen to before and I'm gonna cancel it after this month, but I'm just gonna get one month of a lot of true crime podcasts and I'm so excited. I just got back from the gym and I'm getting ready for our date night. I'm so excited. This has become one of our favorite places. Chandler already probably told you earlier in the video, but the prosciutto there makes me feel like I haven't ever had prosciutto in my life. It's amazing. It is so good. And honestly, it's probably like bare minimum, but like we're just used to Trader Joe's prosciutto, which is scary in retrospect scary. And maybe I said this before, but I just love the idea and really romanticize the idea of a, like our spot. Like that makes me feel like you're a New Yorker, you know, like the people who've lived here forever, like they have their spot, the servers know them and like, and it's always an Italian restaurant, right? Um, <laughs> and so we have two that we really enjoy, but like we truly just don't have the funds to go all the time. So when we get to go, it's very exciting. And I feel like we've kind of hacked how to feel like we have a really good time while not spending a ton at this place. Oh, and I just have to show you what you're sitting on right now because I love this. Last night I had two friends over. I had like bought the wine. I was making them dinner and made them dessert. Right before they got here, I was like, oh my gosh, we're out of toilet paper. So I was just like, your entrance into this home is a roll of toilet paper. So underrated gift, bring your friend's toilet paper. But <laughs> my friend, 
brought me this one and it's supposedly a toilet paper delivery service. It says, who gives a crap? That's so cute. That's adorable toilet paper. Let me check the ply. Ooh, that's, mm -mm. Ooh, no, that's thin, that's thin. This is like college dorm room thin. At this point, I think it would just be unrealistic to do date night every single week, mainly because we just don't have the budget for it. But here are a few ways that we're saving some money on tonight's date night. Like we said, we're using the InKind app, which ended up taking $50 off our drinks and apps. This means our total with tip came out to $35. And then we decided to go see a movie called Civil War with our AMC list membership. In NYC, it costs $25 a month per person, which might seem like a lot, but considering the fact that these IMAX tickets would have cost us $30 per ticket. You're definitely saving some money as long as you see one to two movies. As any moviegoer knows, you need to bring your own snacks. What have we got today, Chandler? Unreals, don't show the AMC staff, and some Olipops. But also we would love to do more date night. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, like this video, and help us contribute to our date night fund. Trash day, trash day. We don't have a specific day for trash, but once it starts piling up, you know what you gotta do. So this is what I meant by not having recycle bags. We just use whatever boxes. It's obviously not a huge deal, but if someone has a better solution than what we're using now, comment down below. I would honestly be very curious. Okay, it is time to clean up the apartment a little bit. So Lucy and I actually had our first ever subletter who stayed in our apartment when we were gone for the past two weeks. We've never done that before, but honestly, I'm super glad we did. Got to help someone out who was looking for a place to stay, but because our place is so small, there's not an ounce of extra storage space in here. We did have to remove everything that was in our front closet to our second closet. So if you'll see here, well, you can't tell now. <laughs> well, I know it's full now, but you can just picture it. It was empty, so they actually had a place to put some things. That being said, we still have a lot of items that are in our big closet that we kind of just stuffed away in here that we have yet to um, put away. I'm gonna do that right now. Like, can you tell? Can you see like how, how bad this is? You know what? It could be worse. Let's just pull one item out at a time. It was mostly just a bunch of jackets. Oh, gosh. Okay, more jackets. I know this probably doesn't look like much, but that actually cleared it out a bunch. I just need to figure out some space for our winter coats, but at least now I can actually put away our suitcase from Friday. Now we just have this really amazing mountain of clothes. Honestly, this is probably a really good time to start reorganizing our closets because I don't think we're gonna be needing the rest of these winter coats. Things are definitely warming up here in New York City. Today it's 75 degrees. I do think it's supposed to stay in the 40s for the next couple of days, but then it's supposed to warm back up. So having a few winter coats might be nice, but I don't think we need our heavy parkas. That being said, the only place to store these is where our donations are and they're just hidden in suitcases that we've like thrown in there i don't really want to do that but it's probably a good time to do it i wish lucy was here lucy can you hear me talking myself out of this okay okay so to explain what i mean so we have these two suitcases right that we actually use for travel and they're empty but we have this suitcase this suitcase and even this whole bin here i'm pretty sure everything that's in here is meant to be donated actually maybe not all of it but i would say like a solid 75% of it is probably just like donations. We've been sitting on all these clothes for quite a while now because we were trying to sell these clothes on like Poshmark or like on Instagram or something. Obviously we have not done that. So it's like at this point, is it really worth it? I'm at least gonna get everything out of there so I can at least move those coats into those bags because there's really no other space for it. And I just don't think that it makes sense to start hanging everything back up again. I feel like you're either just someone who is really good at getting rid of clothes or you're not like me. I know I need to get rid of these things, especially if I, I haven't worn or thought about them. Here's what I have a hard time with, and maybe some of y'all can relate to this, is I have a harder time getting rid of items that I know are worth more money. It just feels like there's more value attached to it, even though it's valueless to me. Like I haven't thought of these things months or maybe even a year since we created the donation pile. And maybe I shouldn't even look at some of these things because I'm like, eh, why even like reconsider? And I think most of these things I wasn't even able to fit into anyway. So like, what's the point? But then I look at this, I'm like, eh, I can maybe fit into this. But like, will I ever wear it? That's the question. Probably not. Probably not. I've never, never worn orange in my life, actually. I don't know why I bought this. Well, I at least cleared out this bag. I definitely think all of this is donation. At least I have a place to put some of our winter coats. 